this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Perfect analogy. Let's see, before going on our first mission here, I'm gonna adjust the sound a little bit. I think this balance works a, a bit better there. Uh, one thing you could do is, if you really don't like the voice acting, you could just turn off the voice volume so you don't have to uh, deal with that, but I'm going to leave it on because I've already done an LP without the voice acting there. Let's see, I want to turn that off there, and let's see, yeah, I think I'll just leave it like that. So if those are the settings that I prefer, you can do it however you like. So let's head on into Lasville Hills. We'll make contact with the target west of here. Could you be more specific? Looks like the Grand Arc Army hasn't made it out here yet. Think they're close? Now, that couldn't possibly be true. Most likely. We should hurry onward while we still can. Or that. In that case... I've got a shortcut. Hey, hey all right. You mean the path down by the riverbank, right? You betcha. I used to walk along there all the time. I suppose the Grand Orb forces would be less likely to spot us if we strayed off the main path. Unless they're also doing the same thing. and I can lead the way, Stock. All right, take point. Just sit back and let us show you what we're made of. Fine by me. I'll follow your lead. Gotcha. Come on, let's get moving. Yeah, your clothes probably make you less easy to spot than a guy in a red outfit. But all right. Stock, over here. Yeah, for now, we don't have freedom to move around here. The plot kind of directs us around here automatically at first. Hey, look out! There's a flaming chicken heading in your general direction! Yeah. You haven't played this JRPG before, have you, Stock? Just another day in the office for me. But, okay, so let's see. We got... A little tutorial here about how the grid works. It's just like the original version of the game. You got a 3x3 three three grid here where the enemies can move around or you could move them around. In this case, they want us to use the push assault to push the enemy or the dodo into the back row there so they will deal less damage to us. Now, another thing about... Uh, combat here is that whenever you hit an enemy you'll see a little combo in the upper right there and every time you do an attack you'll add one to that counter but if your attack type is different from the previous one used like physical magical and then I'm gonna do another physical you get an additional point to your combo meter there okay level combo level they call it there finally so yeah you do that you get a little more experience for killing them. Hooray! So whenever you can, you want to try and alternate between physical, magical, physical, and so on, like that. Though I wouldn't go insane over it. It's not that critical. If it's very inconvenient, don't worry about it. So, you two really can fight. Yeah, shove the lightning bolt up that chicken's ass. Of course we can. We did used to be mercenaries, after all. Well, it could be worse. It could have been an exploding penguin. We might not be up to your level, but we're no slouches either. Technically, aren't we all at the same level? I see that. So, don't be afraid to trust us with a little more responsibility. We haven't even been working together for five minutes! After all, we're putting our lives in each other's hands on this mission. We just did. I only hope we can someday gain the level of trust necessary to shoulder that burden. As do I. Well, if we live long enough. It seems the wind's picking up. It does look like it's gonna rain now that you mention it. Is that... bad? Come on, let's hurry to the rendezvous point. So where exactly is this rendezvous point? I mean, I know it's on the west side, but... Could you... Be a little more specific, or... But, okay. Well, who are those guys? It started to rain. Hi, Colonel. 
I don't believe you. Indeed. Still, while this deluge will allow us to go undetected, it benefits our foes just as well. How? It's just rain. I can clearly see you even with the rain there. We would do well not to let our own fortune blind us to that. Maybe washing away their footsteps in the mud or something? I don't know. Understood. <sighs> hmm? What's that? Not concerned, per se. But these conditions do seem to favor those Alastellian rats. Rest assured. And yeah, too bad Palamedes doesn't get very much voice acting there. <laughs> okay, that is an epic villain laugh. I like that one. <laughs> very well. I shall place my trust in you for the time being. Well, he is on your payroll. Leave it to me. I shall. Still, I care not for vermin. The rendezvous point should be right around here. Well, they already got around us, evidently. Hmm. It doesn't look like our guy's here yet. Well, gee, you think? Do you think he got caught? Maybe. I mean, if the bad guys are already here... We shouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Right. We should wait here a bit for the agent to arrive. But the Grand Arc army will be on Alistair's doorstep before we know it. We need to hurry. Yeah, we didn't even bring an umbrella with us. If we don't make it, that'll be another home scratched off the list. What do you mean, another home? Rainy. Home. Do you mean Alistel? Mm. We mentioned earlier how we used to be mercenaries, yes? Aren't you still mercenaries? Mark, don't. Well, I suppose we're all kind of working for SI, but... Same difference, I would think. There's no reason to hide it. Stock should know. As I was saying, we once belonged to a large band of mercenaries. But one day we came up against an unstoppable force, one that decimated our entire troop. Nuts. But you're still alive. Rainy and I are the only ones who escaped that slaughter. Oh, okay. It was at that point that Heist decided to take us in. <laughs> hey! Heist. Yeah. Words can't even describe how kind he was to us. Oh. This is what he said. You survived which marks you as necessary to this future. Come with me, and let us write history together. Man, Heist is just full of surprises. History as it should be. And that's why Mark and I are here now. Write history, huh? Wait, what's that? Yeah, I wonder what Heist meant about that. Eh, it's probably not important. Someone's coming. I think it's our spy. Hey, hey all right. Freaking finally. <laughs> Wait, something's wrong. What do you mean? He's being pursued. By a pretty squad? And no. by Grand Orc soldiers, no less. Oh, or them. We have to save him. But all right, let's take them out or when they get here enough are you all right let's go what? oh okay I guess that's why I'm in red so our spies can know who we are I guess relax we're on your side there they are Get behind us. Marco, Rainy, protect him at any cost. I'll just cheer for you from the sidelines. Enough. These insolent fools. Ah. Uh. 
But all right, we got another little tutorial battle and also tells you about combos. What I was telling you last time about you going with like a physical attack, then magical, then physical there. So let's see, for this one, we got multiple enemies to deal with. And what you can do is if you have the right type of assault, you can push an enemy onto the same tile as another one and then use an attack or a spell or whatever and you can hit both of them at once. If I had a right assault at the time, I could have moved this guy up there and then hit all three of them. But we haven't learned one yet, so there's nothing we can do there. But, okay, let's see. Marco. Okay, let's see. Well, we got the change command here that I want to use because... My turn order is not where I want it to be. So I want to change with Stock's turn. Now you see how Marco turned red there? That's the vulnerable or Baroque status there. And that means you're gonna take a little damage, a little more damage there. And let's see, let's change again with Rainy there. And you'll retain the vulnerable status until you get your next turn, or that character's turn comes up, or they take an action, which I'm going to do now, so there's really no drawback to it in this situation. We did it so yeah, if you want to get your characters to take turns in a particular order, like I just did there, that's how you can do that. We also got left assault there for stock, so that'll help us move enemies around in battle there. It's kind of a puzzle to figure out how to hit as many enemies at a time as you can. That should be the last of them. Oh, and as you probably can notice there, yeah, when we gain the level, we sometimes we'll learn new skills. Kind of like the Final Fantasy IV. You're hurt. It looks bad. Nuts. I have some medicine, Doc. I brought it just in case things turned out like this. Oh, we got plenty of it ourselves, too, but you are the healer. This is the only bottle I have, though. Hey, all right. Not that we really needed it, but it's there. <sighs> Just doing our jobs. Now then, are you alone? What's become of your escort? I thought we were the escort. Yes. Nice. Well, you did. So, did you write it down, or can you tell us right now, or now? You mean about the enemy armaments, yes? Yes. Well, it looks like they have a bunch of swords, and that's about it. Got it. We'll escort you the rest of the way to Alistair. Technically, isn't this still Alistair territory? Well, it looks like the first stage of our mission is complete. It won't get any easier from here forward, though. Our route back to Alistair will land us in direct conflict with the bulk of the Grand Org army. I like Marco's angry face there. <laughs> Don't forget about the guys on our heels, either. What other guys? This isn't good. Oh, those guys. Hmm. You won't get away. We need to move. Technically, hasn't he already gotten away? You two go on ahead. I'll bring up the rear. Don't let them get the drop on you. We'll be all right. Let's go, Rainy. See? We're already putting our lives in each other's hands. Not so hard, huh, Stock? Yeah, it only took ten minutes. Apparently not. 
Now, move out. Okay, so now we can move around and do stuff. What happens if I go down here? Oh, right, right. Okay. Now, let's see. If you go over here... Oh, okay, there's nothing there. Never mind, then. I was thinking of something else. Let's see. Well, we do have a save point, but I don't think I need that right now. Let's see what we got up he around here. Aha! Eh, can never have enough of those. Awesome. Hmm. Road splits here. Wouldn't we have had to come this way? Which way do we want to go? Um, to begin with? To get to where we were? I'm thinking we can get home quickest if we head north and cross the bridge up there. No. Ah. Yeah, we did see Palamedes up there. In that case, I suggest the shortcut down by the riverbank that we took coming here. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that'd be... Look out! What's that sound? No! No! I, I can't believe they ambushed us here. What do we do, Stock? The spies hurt bad. Heal them again? We can figure that out later. Be on guard for the next attack. I'll handle this. Dude? They got away. Where'd they go? Their only objective must have been to kill the spy. That's... I like how characters change their expression depending on their mood at the time. What the? Whoa. What are those? A blockade. The Granorg army must have put this up. What, after we got here? Something's wrong about this. They're too well prepared. Well, it is an invasion. No matter. I should head back to the others for now. So can you patch the guy up? Are you two all right? What about the spy? He's dead, Doc. We failed. Nuts. Damn it. If only we'd been a little more careful. Snap out of it, Rainy. Beating yourself up over this will only get you killed. Remember, we have an obligation to report this turn of events. That we're totally screwed? Don't you want to protect your home? Uh. Stock's right. We need to tell the higher-ups what happened here. Yeah, let's go. Don't they already know an invasion is imminent? Route south is blockaded. Our only choice is to head north. But Granorg's forces are concentrated up there. There's no other way. I guess we're just gonna have to try and break through their ranks. How hard could it possibly be? That's right. Brace yourselves. Now, even though the plot directed us to go north, since this is a JRPG, we should do exactly the opposite of what we were just told to do. Absolutely. That way we can get some more treasure while we're here. Uh-oh. You're kidding me. They found us already? Yeah, I was about to say. How did they find us? What do I got a GPS up my ass? Aren't they all supposed to be up north? No. This is a different unit. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. It must be one of the teams sent out to hunt the spy. Right. So that's why they're coming from behind us. Shouldn't they already know that they killed the spy? What should we do, Stock? Shall we run away? No. We'd only be flanked by the squadron waiting to the north. 
We need to deal with them here. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right. I'm sure it won't be too bad so long as we've got stock backing us up. Either way, we have to try. I like how they talk about military tactics here a little bit. Yeah. Get ready. Like with flanks and all that. So, it's a nice touch. Nice little detail. But, okay, so... This tutorial will tell you about the change command, but I've already shown that to you, so we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, basically, you can not only switch turns with your other party members, but you can switch turns with the enemies. In this battle, you see all our turns are split up, so it's going to be really hard to get a combo or a chain of attacks going. So I'm going to switch with this guy and see what we can do with that. Okay, so one of the guys moved up, so now what I want to do is, with our left assault, use that on the guy up there, and then, yeah, alternate with a magic spell, and you should be able to get them both. Or at least one of them. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do an auto battle here, so that my if I kill the guy in the front row there, so press the Y button, and then if you kill the front guy, the other characters will just automatically go to the next enemy there. So that's pretty nice. That can be pretty useful for grinding and stuff if you wanted to. Now I don't have to do. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just go with regular physicals. I was thinking about using a spell in between those oh, tags, but nah, I don't think we need to. But alright, we're, well, at least we got cut off from, er, wait a minute, I thought there was a save point around here. Can I even go back? Okay, good, good, I can go back. I thought I was going to be screwed there. But can we make it out of here alive to get back to Alistair? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!